Hi everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to do a small handsome using Google Cloud Storage and then using uh, Python API and the Google Cloud Spanner. Uh, as you can see on my screen. So here I'm going to use my Google Cloud Storage uh, as the source where I'll be uploading the files, uh, singers.csv and uh, albums.csv. Two files I'll be uploading to my Google Cloud Storage. Uh, so I have already uploaded those two files to my Google Cloud Storage bucket. Uh, and then I'll be extracting those data using my Python script. Uh, so which the Python script I'm going to run on my local system using the cloud SDK. And then after extracting the data, I'll be loading those data to two tables uh, on my cloud, cloud spanner. So the two tables will be again, uh, one table will be for the single, Another table will be for the album table, albums table. So here the single table will be you uh, will be the parent table and the uh, albums table will be the child table. And I am using the interleave feature of uh, uh, Cloud Spanner. So uh, to uh, like while creating the tables, uh, child table, I'm using the interleave feature so that uh, uh, while storing the data internally for the Google Cloud Spanner while storing the data in the nodes. So basically, whenever you are creating a Google Cloud Spanner instance, uh, you will be creating some nodes, okay? And where the data will be stored. So nodes, or uh, you can call it server. Also, uh, on these nodes, the data will be stored. And when you are creating the interleave uh, uh, feature or, uh, or you are using interleave feature while creating the child table, so uh, Cloud Spanner will, will store the data, like both the parent data and the related child data uh, it, on the same node. So for example, let's say I have in the single table, uh, I have the singer ID, okay? So for ID one, similarly in the album table, let's say I have the ID uh, as the foreign key, okay? So while, uh, so when, uh, so for this singer ID one, so whatever the related, uh, records are there on the album tables so all these records and the parent record will uh will be stored in the single node okay in the single store single server okay so that uh, while fetching the data uh so uh it, like it will get the result faster that is the advantage of using interleave uh feature of the cloud span and uh so uh here as i told i'm going to use the python script uh, so let me show you the Google Cloud bucket where I have already uploaded the two uh, input files. One is albums and another one is singles.csv. And uh, this is my uh, spanner. Okay, so spanner API. So you need to enable the spanner API and then you can create, uh, then you can create the Google Cloud, uh, you can provision the instance. So uh, to, you know, to provision the instance, uh, here you need to keep the name of the name of your instance. So let me take you to the Python script which I'm going to use. So in there are two module. Okay. So one is you this file uh, create spanner table. You can create spanner database and table. So in this module, what I'm going, uh, what I'm doing is so I'm creating uh, the databases and the table by calling the sp uh, spanner client by calling the spanner instance. So I'm uh, creating the database. Uh, uh, so database name will be demo, okay? And I'm creating the uh, tables, okay? So the tables will be singers and the albums, okay? So these are the two things with uh, what I am doing here. And then uh, after uh, creating the tables, so I have, uh, the main module from where I am actually calling to this module, create spanner table, okay, in order to create the databases and the uh, tables. So here, what I am doing, I am accessing the data from the both of the uh, sources from both of the files, singers and albums to CSP, and then I am reading the content of those files, okay, and I am uh, converting it the files into keys and value pair into a dictionary. Uh, then what I'm doing, I uh, so here I'm uh, calling my the other module, uh, in order to create the 
uh, databases, database and the tables. And then after that, uh, I have my, I'm, I'm fetching the spanner instance and the database ID and the instance ID. And these are the my two tables name. So I have uh, hard coded some of the values in this module. So you can also use like another config file and from that config file, you can import these values. So after that, uh, uh, what I'm doing, like I am going through the rows, each uh, records from the each of the uh, dictionary which I created above, and then I'm fetch, uh, I'm inserting the rows. Okay, so here you can see we need to we can use the bash dot insert, and then this is the format we can use to insert rows into the cloud spanner table. Okay, so I have my table name. One is singles table, another one is uh, albums table. And then the values um, I'm fetching uh, from my rows, okay? So I'm uh, going over this CSV record and then I'm fetching the, uh, fetching the values, okay? And the keys are my column names, okay? So then I'm passing the values and the column names. So this is how like you can use the batch insert. Along with the insert, there are other commands uh, which you can explore. Uh, so for the Google Cloud Spanner, like you can execute SQL, you can also do the update. There are many more commands which you can use uh, in the Python API to interact with the Google Cloud Spanner table. And then uh, this is uh, where I like I'm inserting the record into my first table, which is the singles table. And then I'm inserting the records to my second table, that is the album table. Okay, so let's uh, create the Spanner instance. As I told, I have already created uh, the bucket and uploaded the files. This is the bucket which I'm going to use. And here I'll be creating my spanner instance. And I'll be creating a regional uh, spanner instance in US Central 1. And uh, so I'm going to use only one node. So uh, once the instance will be created, so it, it will not take much time to create a spanner instance, uh, just like uh, like in case of SQL, Cloud SQL, if you're creating the instance in Cloud SQL, it will take almost like three to four minutes to create a Cloud SQL instance. But while creating the spanner instance, it, it will not take much time. Uh, now my instance is ready. I don't have any databases, anything. So I'll be creating the, uh databases and tables and then i'll be loading the records to those tables using my python script so uh here as you can see i have uh, already created the conda environment if you want to see so uh where i have uh i have already installed all the dependencies okay so for example the google cloud uh, storage and the spanner library. So as you can see here, the Google Cloud storage and the spanner library, these are two libraries which we uh, we need uh, to while uh, we are exporting these two libraries in my Python script. So I have created the GCP environment and I'm using my GCP environment. I Inside the GCP virtual environment, I have installed all my dependencies. So uh, in order to activate right now, it's already activated. But if you want to activate uh, your virtual environment, you can use uh, Conda Activate and the environment name. But right now it's already activated. So once you have uh, uh, installed, you have created your virtual environment and then you have, you have already installed all your dependencies on that environment. So then you can do the authentication using the Cloud Authenticate login. So you can authenticate your uh, command prompt in order to use the Google Cloud Console. So what I'm going to do, I will be, so basically when you'll try, you'll run this G Cloud authentication, it will create a com, uh, HTTP link and it will show you like you can open this uh, HTTP URL in the browser. So basically what you can do, you can copy and paste, uh, you can copy this HTTP URL link and you can go to the browser uh, if you are using any private browser like me, so where you have uh, opened uh, your Google Cloud Console account. So in that browser, you can provide the authentication. Okay. So 
And once it is authorized, uh, so you'll get a message like you are now authenticated to use the Google Cloud CLI. So, uh, and here you will get that <coughs> you are going to interact with the your project. So it will show you the your mail ID and your current project ID. Okay, so that is fine. And then what I'm going to do, as I told, uh, so this is my uh, main module. So where I am uh, actually load, uh, extracting the data from the cloud bucket and then I'm loading the data to my spanner table. In this main module, I'm calling my other module, which is to create the database and uh, table, okay? So I'm going to run the main module. The command is Python and the module name is load gcs uh, to spanner.py. So let me run it. I so I have added some print statements so that when the databases will be created or the uh, once the data, all the data are inserted, it will print the relevant message here on the console. So let's wait. I uh, think it is uh, waiting for the, it is creating the database on this instance, which is demo spanner. And then uh, it has inserted the data. Now, if I go to my spanner uh, page, so here I can see my database has been created, which is the demo database. And inside this demo database, uh, I created two tables. One is for singer, which is the parent table. Uh, one is the singer table, which is the parent table, and the other one is the albums table. So if you go to the singers table, you can, so this is how the con, uh, console or the UI of uh, Spanner looks like. So here, if you go to data, in, uh, in, in the data, you will be able to see uh, all the rows which are inserted. And this is my singer ID, which is the primary key. And all these rows I have inserted. Okay, to uh, I have inserted only those uh, to these three columns. And then similarly, if you want to write any query, you can go to query, and here you can uh, write any query which you want to run. For example, like if you want to run like singers uh, from some singer table, from singers, and then the other table is albums where let's say singer id sorry uh singer search is album search a singer id is equals to In details in the writing. So let me run the query. I, I'm not sure it will uh, Yeah. So this is how like you can run your query and if you go to the explanation, you can see the plans, how your query has been executed. Okay. So for example, it scan both the tables and singles table and then the albums table. And then after that, it had filtered the rows and then uh, it has do the cross join and it has then serialized your result and finally you are getting your result after the union so similarly if you go to the other table which is the uh, albums table so here also you'll be uh, able to see the same similar ui and these are the columns which are there and then you will go to the data So here you can see the data. Okay, so th this is how like you can uh, fetch the record from the cloud storage and then you can uh, load it to the cloud spanner table. So not only to the cloud spanner, you can also use instead of cloud spanner, you can use cloud SQL and all. Uh, okay, so that's all I had for this video. Uh, thank you.